So now that we have the print head across our paper towel, two ways you can do this. You can allow the print head to rest on top of it, or you could do what we call the shoe shine method, like shining shoes. I don't think that's good, but yeah. All right, so typically uh, I will bring mine back and forth across because I'm cleaning the surface of the print head. And what's on the surface of the print head, just residue ink, all right? Once I pull this across, you, you, you're gonna be able to see uh, some ink. Ah, uh, yeah, look at there. So she needed cleaning. So that's what we was looking for. All right, so I'm gonna pull this back across. And with this printer, there, this spring, give this a, a little push, a little give. Uh, you want to gently push this down and come across. Well, let's hold this because uh, mine has a bit going on. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. So that is the results of doing a lot of printing. And I know some people, no, that's not taking care of your printer. No, that's showing me I've been doing a lot of printing. <laughs> so we're going to clean this. Uh, we, then I'm going to pull the print head back over and allow it to rest upon it, all right? And the way I do that, I use the top part for cleaning like this. So let me do the shoe shine method. I'm going to grab both edges here. Uh, and I'm just going to gently bring it across the print head. You, wanna, you don't want to be too aggressive with this, okay? You don't because these paper towels will leave some residue behind if you be too aggressive. All right, so... It's going to circular motion. Ooh, look at that. All right, so here's another thing. The big issue what can cause problems on your prints. I don't know if y'all guys are able to see this or not, but there's a string right here of ink. That little strain right there, that that will cause your prints to, to, to look ugly. <laughs> Actually, and what it would do when the print head goes across um, the film and print, when it releases ink, that little piece of, of ink itself, it will smear across the um, transfer. So what I'm doing now, I'm just reusing this. I'm flipping it over, doing uh, taking the same step, paste it back over, and we're gonna allow the print head to rest on here, you know, maybe 20 minutes or something like that, 15 or 20 minutes. All right, so when you use this or do this method, you after you do this, um, you will have to allow the printer to rest. You can't come right back and begin the printing. All right, what you want to do, you want to allow it to rest. All right, so we're going to bring this back across. Okay, so we good. We good there. And I'm going to allow her to sit just like that. And once it's uh, finished resting, and like I said, I'm going to allow it to rest for about 30 minutes um, on this solution. And what that does, it helps allow the solution or the print head to sit on top of the paper towel with the solution and allow the solution to begin to break up uh, the ink that may be clog uh, causing the nozzles to clog up. So this is a process to help that. Um, the other method you can do, you if you have refillable cartridges, you can fill your uh, refillable cartridges up with this solution, with a little bit of water, uh, because this is concentrated. Um, I guess you can see the results here on my hand. And you can run it through your system, meaning you can run it through these ink lines and with that solution, and you wanna kinda, of, like I said, take some distilled water, mix it up, you run it all the way through your lines, and that'll help break up ink that's in the line in a type of blockage, all right? So this is another method to help out. So we're gonna allow this to sit for a little while, and we'll be back.